Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'll be talking about the 10 platinum trophies I've earned to reach my 60th platinum trophy milestone. If you want to check out the previous 10 platinum trophies I earned before this, I already made a video for that, so do check the link in the description or click the card on this video to check it out. Otherwise, if you're new here and you like this type of content, do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, so first of all, we're gonna ha uh, have a look back at uh, my stats prior to this video. Um, so I'm just gonna display them on screen. Yeah, so I was sitting at 51 Platinum Trophies at the time. Uh, I had played 108 games, completed only 38. And my completion percent was at 57.20. And for this video, my stats are sitting at... 61 platinum trophies, you know, uh, I think I'm not gonna read all these other trophies, you can see them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I played 116 games, completed 48, and my completion percent is at 61.14. Even you can see my views went up a bit, I think at the time I had 100. Uh, pr previous to this video I had like 100 views on my PSN profiles, now I'm sitting at 337, so you know, I think that's good. Uh, yeah, I think I bumped up a bit in my That's the world rank country rank uh, Yeah, I've gone up a bit. So that's also good. Yeah, so let's just dive into the platinum trophies that I got So we're just gonna scroll down uh, Yeah, so so this is my 51 platinum trophy that's Assassin's Creed Liberation. So pretty much straightforward game here. I think it, it was one of the shortest Assassin's Creed games I've played. Um, not, I'm not that big of a fan of Assassin's Creed games, but I did like Assassin's Creed 2. Played it back on the Xbox 360. Um, aside from that, yeah, uh, I think I'm just gonna talk about like the difficulties and how you, how you're gonna go about getting the platinum. So it's a three out of ten. Uh, difficulty uh, you need only one playthrough and it's gonna take you about 15 hours so yeah the game is straightforward um, what do I like about the game I, uh, I think I like the personas there are different kind of personas there's the slave persona uh, there's the assassin persona and I think there's a lady persona yeah so that's what I remember from the game um, you know you have your collectibles you know collectible trophy here you have to complete pretty much everything. I think that's how Assassin's Creed games work. But yeah, straightforward. It won't take you that long. And I actually liked... Um, I'm kind of big on taking really good um, snapshots on, you know, like the, the screenshot for the Platinum. So yeah, so when you are about to like kind of get the Platinum, you kind of do like a pose or something. Yeah, but it's kind of hard to pull it off. So let me know if you actually do that or like you're so keen on that screenshot. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's, that, that was, I'm going to leave it at that for Assassin's Creed. Can't really talk much about this one considering um, it's, it is just straightforward. If you can complete everything, I think you'd also farm a bit for money um, to buy, you know, the weapons. And I think you're going to buy ships if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, let's move on. Um, so, uh, plan number 52 all the way to 54 was a Bioshock series, as you can see. Yeah, I wanted to do all the Bioshock series. I actually played I played the Bioshock series back when, you know, they actually came out on PS3 and Xbox. Um, yeah, so it was good to kind of go back into these games and, you know, in a Trophy Hunter's perspective. So, we're going to talk about uh, Bioshock uh, Remastered here. Uh, so it's a 3 out of 10 difficulty, one playthrough, and 15 hours. Yeah, not yeah, it's not that hard. Um, I remember I played the game on the yeah on survivor difficulty. Yeah, you can play it on normal, then you know, then later on play it on survivor. Yeah, but now those are two playthroughs. But if you wanna make, if you wanna spend um, a lesser time doing it, just put it on the hardest difficulty. It actually it isn't that hard. It's just a matter of getting used to it. 
Um, but yeah, I think I liked the first Bioshock. It had a really good story. Of course, I won't spoil the story, but yeah. Some trophies are straightforward. Um, collectibles, I think you'd need a guide for that. Um, you know, of course, you're going to miss out on one or two. And yeah, that's pretty much. It's a, it's an interesting one of the... I think but the Bioshock series has a very interesting uh, trophy list, if I was, if I was to say that. Um, yeah, but all in all, like I, I, I liked uh, Bioshock. The first one um actually i'm going to rate them you know after this and kind of see which one i like more than the other and yeah there's the dlc which is a challenge room you're gonna do a bunch of challenges um yeah i remember watching one or two videos to kind of see how how to complete them you know you kind of have some time related um things to do you know so yeah i remember enjoying all this you can just have a look at some screenshots here wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah this guy got murdered proper um yeah so power shock was really fun i yeah i think the dlc is all actually also fun to play as well uh next up that's trophy number 53 that's power shock 2 remastered um i actually made a video on how to plan on this game so i don't think i want to talk much about how you're gonna get this platinum but uh but for the but for the difficulties and all that it's uh six out of ten difficulty you need two playthroughs and 40 hours at least 40 hours this is just based off i'm just reading this based on based off uh psn profile uh guides um but yeah two we had two dlcs here um as as i mentioned i already talked about all this in this in you know this particular video and um you know on how i you know how you can best get the platinum for this yeah because you can miss out on one or two things i think there's some missable trophies and and all that but yeah i enjoyed actually making that video um what I actually liked more was yeah the dlc um i liked this uh, this dlc um it had a good story and yeah, I just liked it. I just remember playing after finishing the game and playing this DLC. I was like, "Wow, okay, this one is a good. It has a good story." Um, yeah, so it's a. Re I'd really recommend. I think one of the. I I think I'll say it for now, but one of the best DLCs I've actually played. It was it was fun. That's all I can remember. It was fun and it was just different. As much as like it's still set in you know in Rapture. I think Bioshock Two is set eight years after the events of rapture so it was really it was really good and now there's the trials here um yeah i think it's us you, you kind of um get waves of enemies i think i can remember that then you're supposed to like kind of get these stars you know like so you try not to get hit as much and you know yeah just taking out the enemies with a given loadout yeah so remember doing all that can just have a look at one of the screenshots here yeah i think i'll i'll be i should actually open this platinum screenshot or rather yeah this is just white so i don't want to like blind your eyes um next up is bioshock infinite that was my 54th platinum had a bunch of dlcs i remember um yeah so you need uh, or rather it's it's a difficulty it's six out of ten two playthroughs and 30 hours so it's a bit long uh, yeah, it's more or less long like Bioshock 2 but I think story wise this, I think Bioshock Infinite out of the series Bioshock Infinite had the best story um, I, yeah you just if you haven't played the Bioshock series I just recommend you to play these games they're just awesome um, yeah nothing too hard about uh, getting the platinum here yeah? Yeah, so this was us after um, the, you know, the end credits. Yeah, nothing too hard. You'd have to beat the game on 99 mode. Speaking of 99, 1999 mode, I'm gonna talk about how I messed up on the DLC concerning that that difficulty. But yeah, straightforward as well. You need to get some different kills here and there. Um, obviously, collect all the collectibles in the game. You know spend some money you know um yeah just get all the plasmids and stuff like that nothing to yeah it's you know it's it's your typical bioshock uh trophy list so 
it's if after playing Bioshock 1 and 2, I think you'll be familiar. Getting different types of kills on some enemies. So you'll be kind of doing that while playing the main story. Clash in the Clouds is a whole other DLC, man. This Clash of the Clouds was actually really, really hard. Um, considering um, you kind of have to beat, uh, you know, some em enemies in, in, in different waves. But I definitely use the glitch. So there's a glitch um, in order to get the Blue Ribbon Champ Trophy. Where you kind of get all these other trophies. Yeah, so I'm gonna just talk about it. So get all these other, other trophies here. Do not and leave this one. Don't don't attempt it. Or rather, just play it, but don't necessarily attempt this. Because this is actually hard. So in order to pop it, just get all these other trophies first. Then beat, get all the trophies in Barrel at Sea, Episode 1 and 2. And automatically, the Blue Ribbon Champ will unlock. I don't know how that works or how the glitch works, but that's how it works. So don't spend your time trying to beat the waves because it gets harder and harder so i talked about how i messed up i think it was on episode two yes and you can see this first trophy here complete barrel at sea episode two at 1998 mode this thing i actually played um i played this thing the dlc uh, this dlc twice and the reason for that i confused 1999 and 1998 i didn't see 1998 and you can see this uh, the difficulties are kind of you scroll to the left and to the right to see the difficulty. So I knew I had to beat the barrel at sea at 1999 mode. Even it's hard for me to even say to say it like that. Um, yeah, so you can imagine I just scrolled to 1999 and I automatically knew that that was the hardest difficulty. So yeah, don't make that mistake as I did. Otherwise, you'll do another whole playthrough. I remember finishing that playthrough and I got really pissed off as to why this trophy didn't pop only for me to realize I, I had played it on 1999 mode but not 1998 God, let's get out of here because I'm tired of saying <laughs> that here Do me a favor please, get out of here Get out of here man, yeah, shit, but, I'm saying Yeah, all in all, Bioshock is... Bioshock Infinite was good uh, Barrel at, uh, The Barrel at Sea DLC is actually good but I'd have to pick uh, Minerva's Den, if that's how it's pronounced. Minerva's Den as the best DLC. Um, I, I just liked it. Um, so if I was to rank these three, my best, of course, I'm going to go with Bioshock Infinite, then, Remast uh, then Bioshock, then Bioshock 2. Yeah, that's kind of like my favorites if I was to rank them. Bioshock one was good but Bioshock Infinite was better anyway let's move on uh, for my 50 uh, Platinum Trophy number 55 was Dante's Inferno and unfortunately as you can see it's not at 100% completion reason for that is the DLCs got removed from the PlayStation stores so I played it on PS3 and yeah you can only get the game I think you can only buy I'm not too sure. I have, I have the disc for Dante's Inferno. But last I checked, the DLCs weren't there. They, were, they got removed a while ago. So if you want to play this game, just know that you will not get 100%. If you're big on your completion percentage, do not pick up Dante's Inferno. You will not get 100%, unfortunately, at this time. Um, other than that, let's talk about uh, how you're going to go about it. So it's a tour of 10 difficulty, two playthroughs, 16 hours. Um, tour, yes, tour of 10 because there's no difficulty related trophy. You can literally play the game on easy and beat the game and, and get your platinum. I remember played this, I was play, I actually played this game on the hardest difficulty. Yeah, I know sometimes I just want to give myself a challenge. Um, but it, was, it wasn't that hard. I remember struggling here, here and there, but I, yeah, I actually remember struggling on the last boss. Um, Okay, let me not see who the last boss is. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. But I remember I was really struggling on the last boss considering I put it, put it on the hardest uh, difficulty. Other than that, um, two, actually it says two playthroughs, but you actually won't finish your second playthrough because you have to kind of max out like there's the holy path and the unholy path. So what in your first playthrough, just focus on one path. If it's either your holy or unholy, then... Once you've 
uh because you need like the uh, what was it called souls yeah you need souls to level up so and it'll take you like at least one full full playthrough to max out one path then you start the other one then you max max it out so other than that you know collectibles as usual different way you know uh, for beating bosses saving people apparently um getting souls and you know there's one or two missables so i'd recommend checking the guide um because if you pass it you'd have to do another playthrough to kind of you know get that specific trophy so i'd actually recommend anytime you try to plan on a game just look at the missable trophies first of all if there's anything that you're gonna miss you need to note it down so once you get to that point you're gonna make sure you're gonna get that trophy otherwise dante's inferno was a good game you know um I played this game because you know I actually never played it. Uh, you know, I was playing. Uh, I think at the time, God of War came out, so Dante's Inferno is just something I remember seeing, but had a lot of good talks about it, but never played it. So, yeah, so pretty much it does play like God of War. Um, you know, God of War one, two, and three. Um, but I do understand how if you didn't play God of War and you played Dante's Inferno, how awesome it. Uh, I, I think like that experience should have been really awesome. But yeah, yeah, I like the game. Um, on light, had a lot of tits. Yeah, like the, <laughs> yes, yeah, it had a lot of tits because now, um, you know, I think it was trying to be. Um, it's like an ancient Greek, you know, that ancient Greek mythology or whatever. So they are just finding excuses to show you boobs. So I don't know what what was all that about. Literally, even the um, what was it? One of these gluttons enemies. Well, that's topless and like the tits are just hanging out so i don't know what was all that about they really emphasize on that but other than that you know the game was pretty fun to play um i think we're gonna move on so platinum trophy number 56 was silent hill 3. um so how you're gonna go about it it's a three out of ten difficulty three playthroughs ten hours yeah it's ten hours if you really know what you're doing you know you're gonna actually you can even beat it in less that time but yeah silent hill 3 is the you know i think it's yeah it's definitely way shorter than silent hill 2 um if i was to pick one i liked silent hill 2 better um it's just iconic and the setting and the story yeah i just liked everything about silent hill 2 and it's way tougher it's a 9 out of 10 difficulty um you know it's famous for its um you know for the boat ride scene where you have to kind of like you know take your boat or rather you have to cross a lake in a certain number of time and the controls are just messed up you know you have to like rotate your analog sticks and you know and it's just hard um that's why it's that moment you know i think that specific trophy is the majority reason why it's at a nine out of ten and the number of playthroughs and you can easily mess up yeah, I, I think I've talked a lot about Silent Hill 10. I'm supposed to talk about Silent Hill 3. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I actually did a video for the UFO ending, this particular one here. I did that, uh, yeah, because like I remember I struggled getting this ending because you have to like use the heather beam to kind of kill enemies. So we get the radio here. Here we're gonna just start shooting because there's gonna be some dogs. So we have killed the two dogs till they bleed. We kind of kill enemies, and it has some certain requirements. I think. You know in this video um i normally i you know i talk about how you're gonna unlock it it was a full playthrough i did so if you wanna you know if you don't have anything to do or if you just wanna check this uh, check this video out definitely check it out you know i i'm pretty sure it, it has a couple of views so pretty sure it helped it helped out one or two people um yeah otherwise you know silent hill 3 is good you know you can see there are some trophies here like for beating the game under three hours so it's a straightforward game you know if you know where where you're going and what you're doing um i'd recommend any trophy hunter to play the silent hill games they're just fun and they're different and they're just challenging in their own ways 
you know you know you have to get some specific guns and you know uh, specific endings so yeah i i liked silent hill 3 but of course i'm gonna pick two as my favorite uh so we're gonna move on so that's trophy number 57 that's ratchet and clank a crack in time that's the for ps3 yeah so i was i think at this time i was just mainly playing ps3 games um and actually liked i don't know this that's kind of how i'm trying to get you know trophies so i play a bit of ps4 games then i go back to ps3 because there are a ton of games in ps3 i haven't played yet um so for this particular uh platinum you need it's a or rather it's a three out of ten difficulty two playthroughs and 25 hours um two two playthroughs because you need to be uh play the game just normally then you have to unlock challenge mode and you have to be the game on challenge mode um but it's not hard um what i liked about the game is the spaceship uh you kind of like kind of fly between different planets and yeah i think that was a cool concept uh you know i think ratchet and clank clank games are just awesome like i think insomniac don't i haven't played an insomniac game which which sucked so ratchet and clank is a good game plays really well still on ps3 yeah i'd recommend anyone to get this platinum um nothing grindy oh i remember this the what this one particular trophy my my blaster runs hot yeah my blaster runs really hot so there's a mini game in uh mini game that you're gonna have to play and it's kind of really hard um to get these ten thousand points so i remember i stayed here for a while um you have to really master you know the controls and the spot you know like there are some enemies are kind come out of the square and you, you, you just have to be really on point to get this one done um that's really difficult trophy I remember in this game otherwise everything else is good you know getting the bolts um the gold bolts and kind of doing everything there are tournaments to play um it's it's really fun ratchet and clank is just a fun game uh to play so we're gonna move on uh, so this is trophy number 58 that's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order um, Yeah, so this game man, it was us awesome. I think I, yeah, it's the best game I've played so far this year um, And how you'll go about it. Yeah, it's a 3 out of 10 difficulty one playthrough 30 hours The reason why I think it's yeah, the reason why it's a 3 out of 10 is because there's no difficulty related trophy uh, There's no difficult related trophy in it you can put the game on easy and just i think there's some combat settings you can just put everything on easy and just enjoy the game but i think i wouldn't recommend you doing that um or if you just want to get through the game quickly and just get the platinum you can do that otherwise this is a game for you to enjoy i think i played it on jedi master mode if i'm not wrong and that's kind of like hard difficulty and yeah so the powering window is like really small and you know it just pushes you to kind of play the game much better um but yeah i really love this game this game actually even got me got me into star wars um i knew star wars i knew it was a big franchise but i never actually got like i've only seen one or two movies here and there when i was like really young but after playing star wars i you know i just told myself yo i need to you know understand more about this universe and understand you know what happened to the jedi why why were they killed you know that's kind of understanding all that so i watched um some of the movies actually recently completed what uh, watching uh, star wars uh, the clone wars series yeah so that's how big of a fan of a star wars fan you know this game made me um other than that uh there's not much to it in this game you know you have to complete um all the skills you need to get all the skills collectibles um what else you know story uh, obviously the story you know story trophies that will just pop automatically yeah nothing too yeah nothing too missable because good thing like you can explore you know different planets and go to go to the planets anytime you want to um yeah think aside from that uh yeah there's nothing yeah i recommend us explore a lot explore and explore the world is big okay not that big but big enough for you to explore just explore and have fun like just enjoy everything try to look at each and every corner 
you know you will get uh, collectibles and you know stuff to upgrade your lightsaber and all that so yeah um i think yeah the, this trophy the green thumb is something that you you'll have to also keep in mind like there are seeds um in different planets where you kind of need to grow out um you know these plants as you can see um so definitely keep in mind this um but ideally if you're literally exploring everything you will pick them up naturally um but if you're having a hard time uh, you know you can look up a guide <clears throat> otherwise i think this is the snapshot of the platinum yeah so it was really fun you know and i can't, honestly can't wait to play the sequel um to this game um yeah that's towers uh don't mind super meat boy here it was it's a game in my backlog i, I just kind of booted it up again to, to just play play it a bit i might plan on this game actually uh, i might make i might make it my 100 platinum trophy um that's what i'm thinking i'm, I'm torn between super meat boy and devil may cry 5 i think these two are well renowned in the trophy hunting community as the two hardest platinums um yeah so i'm considering either of the two to be my 100th uh platinum <clears throat> but yeah it's just here uh moving on uh we're almost done so my 59th platinum trophy was demon souls on ps3 um so demon souls is an 8 out of 10 difficulty two playthroughs and 50 hours yeah um <clears throat> i went back to play demon souls yeah i am a souls fan of you know i think if you check out my other videos of you know me talking about other trophies you know i've earned uh platinum trophies in uh dark souls 2 3 sekiro bloodborne i haven't platinum dark souls 1 yet i think yeah I'll, i will i actually will plan to get dark souls 1 uh platinum trophy yeah so i'm a big souls fan um so i had to go back and play demon souls just to see where everything started for the dark souls series and uh yeah it was really fun like it plays really well um i think it was difficult to, to some point because you need to keep in mind these world tendencies um i think there's the light and the dark tendencies and some some specific things happen in the why is it not light white tendency and other uh, other specific things happen in the other side um you know i think you can definitely you definitely need a guide to kind of understand how to get some some things working you know so so there are some certain npcs only spawn in the white sub so, you know and others spawn in the dark so dark tendencies so that was something yeah i, I know if you have no idea about demon souls then you, you, you know i'm pretty much talking gibberish so but you definitely need a guide to understand the mechanics of how all that works yeah so i definitely use the guide and use the glitch there's a glitch um there's a glitch where you, you kind of you can duplicate materials so guess what use that to duplicate souls especially the demon souls once you beat the bosses in the game you get demon souls once you duplicate that you're pretty much good on leveling up so you can literally be an op character at the very start of the game and kind of breeze through the game but you know i think i i didn't do that i was kind of leveling up when i needed to you know just kind of you know i think us yeah if you're a souls fan like it's all about the challenge so i didn't want to kind of breeze through the game that much but if i struggled with a certain boss of course i went to level up <laughs> for sure so other than that the most grindiest trophy is kind of getting all the weapons um yeah you can see all these uh, trophy related uh this these uh, weapon related trophies um there's one that there's the rarest material that's called the pure bloodstone i'll never forget this material because i had to farm farm it and there's somebody who said even after eight years they couldn't get this thing to spawn i know it's crazy um for me luckily enough i farmed only for a day uh, ideally I, I remember farming it for a day it didn't spawn and I actually used a certain sword to increase the item item discovery stat i can't remember the name i think i'm just gonna leave an image this is the sword i used to get the you know to increase my item discovery i equipped that and you know just started farming in a certain area and that was it um so i did it for a day and i remember i didn't get the pure bloodstone then the next day i tried to farm it you know i got it in like four attempts and i was like yo i actually got this thing you know 
I knew that I wouldn't get it anytime soon reading online how it's so rare to get but yeah that's the only thing that I'll I'll say uh, as tips um just just know your info quite a grind for that pure bloodstone um then you know definitely I'd exploit the glitch um the item duplicate duplication glitch and yeah beat all the bosses and have fun like it's a it's a good game and uh yeah I think we're just going to leave it at that we can't there's no screenshot considering you know it's on ps3 and yeah for my 60th platinum trophy it was none other than red dead redemption 2 Um, so Red Dead, you know, it's a 5 out of 10 difficulty, one playthrough, and of course, over 200 hours. Um, you can even spend even more than 200. I think 200 was just like a rough estimate. But yeah, uh, this game was in my backlog. I beat the game, um, I think sometime in 2018. I got all this, I remember getting all the trophies on the story on story mode and leaving all the trophies um yeah, I got all the trophies for story mode apart from, I think, Skin Deep and the, and the Zoologist uh, trophy. Then all the online trophies, I did not get them. So I, I came back to play play um, Red Dead Redemption 2 just to brush up on those uh, trophies. Um, so that's the online trophy, all the online trophies and Zoologist and Skin Deep. Yeah, I know that's a lot of info <laughs> right there. Um, yeah, so yeah, what can I say about this game? Uh, I think getting the zoologist and uh, the zoologist and skin deep. There's I used a link in the PSN profiles, a PSN profile forum. So definitely, I'd, you know, as a trophy hunter, I'd recommend checking forums for these games. They have really good information and they really help out. So there's this. Um, I think I I, I used uh, the forum and checked out on a link. Okay. I think the game was bugging out here or the my playstation was bugging out anyway as i was saying go to the forum there's a link there use this link you will and it'll and you'll kind of embed it on the uh, rockstar website and it'll kind of show you the missing um the missing animals you have and what you uh, the, the missing animals that you don't have and yeah it'll kind of help you out and you'll kind of know where um, they spawn, it'll kind of show you where the, the spawning locations are and all that. I used that for those two trophies for leveling up on Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, that's on the online, Red Dead Online. Um, you know, I, I started out with the Bounty Hunter role. For some weird reason, I had a bunch of gold. Um, so I bought into, uh, of co course, did a lot of the online story missions. Did, um, what else did I do? Once I did that, I went and did the bounty hunter role. After I did the bounty hunter role, I went and did the collector role. All right, what have you found? Did you try? I won't tell. Um, for the collector role, like there's this website also, this map that kind of generates. Uh, kind of show you shows you where all the collectibles are i think i only focused on like three card sets i think that's the pentacles swords yeah only i think yeah and maybe yeah only those two i focused on those two and the antique bottles yeah and that was it so you just grind that out and level up uh, i remember I was leveling up you know a lot um in, uh, i'd say you level up more in the collector in the collector's role than in the bounty uh, hunter role other than that, I think everyone is aware of, you know, the Red Dead Redemption 2 trophy list. Um, yeah, but it was a fun game. I enjoyed ranking up. But it took quite, it was quite the grind. I even made a video on uh, there's this particular trophy for the MVP. Uh, I forgot the name there. We will just have to scroll and look, look for it here. The real deal. The real, real trophy here. I made a video on how to get this one. I did it with races. Um, yeah, I did it with only uh, doing the races in the game. So don't bother playing the TakeOver series or any other series. You're going to get killed. 
you're gonna play with people who are over a hundred uh they're they are over a hundred in in their rank so don't bother um playing that you'll, you'll just you know you'll just be killed otherwise yeah you can check this video out i did um kind of explain on the description how how you can go about it just need a good decent racehorse and that's it you can't get the mvp title otherwise yeah red dead is was a fun game to play and i really enjoyed leveling up and you know just playing the game um so this is the trophy screenshot yeah i remember i was doing a mission uh you know a bounty hunter mission um, one of the legendary missions actually it was really fun and yeah we got the platinum so yeah i really wanted this to be my number 60 platinum trophy and yeah really fun uh, you know but yeah quite the grind I think the online bit you know there's some fun elements to it and there's some grindy elements so really depends how you're gonna play it yeah but once i go to rank 50 i was done um if i'm coming back to play this game maybe i'm doing i'm playing poker i liked playing poker actually on uh, online poker uh I, I, that was really it was a fun way to pass the time Yeah, so those are my 60th, uh, 60 platinum trophies. Um, as much as there are other trophies here that I'm working on, this is more of me doing some clean up in my backlog. Yeah, and also NAC. NAC is my 61 actually. I don't even want to talk about this game. I'm going to talk about it in another video, but man, did I not like platinum this game. I did not, I did not like getting the platinum in NAC. Yeah, so I'm just working on my backlog uh, video uh, on my backlog uh, games. So yeah, that's currently what I'm doing, and you know, I'm currently playing uh, Vampire or Vampire, whatever you wanna call this game. <laughs> I can't really pronounce this word. Um, yeah, currently playing this. Otherwise, yeah, I think that will be it. So if you've reached this far into this video, I can't thank you enough uh, for watching. You know, I, I I know I do talk a lot sometimes. But yeah, do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't for more uh, PlayStation Trophy videos like this. You know, I will plan uh, a video where I talk about the backlog games that I'm cu currently tackling in order to complete, uh, in order to kind of uh, increase my co completion percent. Um, so let me know if that's something you'd like to check out. Um, you know, and yeah, I think with that, um, you know, otherwise, yeah, we can just call it a video at this point. So. Yeah, um, so take it easy, I'll catch you guys on the next one.